Now, me and uh, the Muslim apologist Nader Ahmed don't really agree on a lot of stuff when it comes to apologetics and theology, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I don't really agree with a lot of what Nader Ahmed, Nader Ahmed's um, apologetics. Uh, you know, same same way I don't agree with a lot of what Basam Zawadi says anymore. I don't I don't pay much attention to either either Nader or Basam anymore. But I think Nader Ahmed has a good point here. Um, so let's let's play the clip, and he talks about yeah he talks about the uh, embarrassment or the problem with interacting with Sam Shamoon in a public setting. And this I agree with Nader Ahmed. Nader Ahmed is a hundred percent right on his assessment of Sam Shamoon in a public place. Then I'll share my two cents. So let's hear it from Nader Ahmed first. Nader Ahmed's uh, interaction with Sam Shamoon in a public setting and Sam Shamoon's bad behavior in a public place. Let's hear it. He's, but see, you know, you're mentioning Hatun Tash and Sh and Shimon. Well, you know, we have to understand they are a little bit, they are kind of deranged people. And I'll give you an example. So I used to meet Sam Shimon in this restaurant um, out there on right off of Devon, and uh, I never knew who he. I didn't really know who he was. And Hold so on. We, he used to have he used to have a doubt of his own Christian Dawa stand on Devon Avenue, right? Yeah, Where he would yeah. call the, the non Arabic speaking Muslims. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I confronted him one time a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, but go ahead. So we sat down and we kinda we put two tables together. And I what I remember was this guy was shouting and screaming like a like almost like a lion. And so I, I said, Sam, can you please keep your voice down a little bit? We're in a restaurant. You know, it's it's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> and and he, yeah. it, he didn't understand. I remember he was literally shouting and screaming Bible passages and everybody in that restaurant was turning around and looking at us. And this is back in 2001. And and so my point here is normal people don't behave like that. I remember I, I remember I was trying to discuss, I couldn't refute him because I was so hot with embarrassment. It was like, I was like, and so because everybody was literally looking at us and I he said, it's okay it's okay I know the owner of this restaurant and we're cool and this and this and I'm like oh my god so my point here is this they're little they're, these guys are a little bit quacky in the head you know they're, they're deranged people to begin with and well, of well, course well, this this is yeah, this is yeah. part of by the way um it comes from the evangel the okay so this is where I agree with Nader Ahmed he's come Nader Ahmed is a hundred percent right I completely agree with him because I've met Sam Shamoon before, and he behaves that way. He gets too emotional. He starts shouting. And uh, I remember one time George Sayeg gave a invited me to give a presentation on Islam, and Sam Shamoon was so annoying in that presentation. He was asking all the questions, and he wasn't letting other people ask questions to me. And I got annoyed, and everybody else got annoyed, because Sam Shamoon does not know how to behave in a public setting. It's absolutely hilarious that this man does not know how to behave in a public setting. So I agree with Nader Ahmed. Nader Ahmed is 100% right. I agree with him. I believe his story. His story is right. I mean, it's, it's Sam Shamoon's character, where this man simply cannot behave when it comes to... He, he he can't control his emotions. It's it's absolutely bizarre that Christians give this man a platform. And the only reason why I was, you know, conned into doing a debate with him is because of David Wood. They would promise me, no, it'll be okay. Sam Shun will behave. Uh, you know, you'll get your chance to talk. And credit to credit where credit is due, David Wood did tell Sam Shun to shut up multiple times and let me talk. So I give David Wood credit for being a good moderator. In that debate and not letting Sam Shamoon just have hog all the um, speaking time. So, Nader Ahmed is right. Sam Shamoon cannot behave in a public setting. He, he just can't control himself in a public setting. And uh, Nader Ahmed is right. These people like Hatun Trash, James White, uh, Sam Shamoon, they are a little quacky in the head. They can't, they don't know how to control themselves, etc. They hang out with like little kids. They hang out with like college kids, at least 20, 30 years younger than him, like James White does. Uh, the debate like young, younger kids, uh, because James White has some weird fetish for like little boys and stuff. So, you, you know, look how mentally sick these people are. Hot Toon Trash and the James White and the Sam Shaman. Look how, look how like 
mentally deranged they are, hanging out with like little kids or with like kids at least thirty years younger than them. At least James White does that, and uh, you know Sam Shamoon some behavior in a public place. It's not even a private. If it was in the internet, I kind of understand, but it's a public place that Shamoon is not behaving. So I agree with neither of them that Sam Shamoon is an embarrassment or he simply can't control himself in a public setting. So this just shows how mentally deranged people like Hot and Trash and Shamoon and James White really are. They just don't know how to, um, they just don't know how to interact in, in, in public settings. And, you know, I remember, uh, I remember James White's emails to me. He wrote some very bad emails to me. Uh, you know, and then I realized this man, like, he doesn't know, like, like, you know, he's like a 50 year old man. And I was, you know, 22 years, like, what is a 50 year old man interacting with like a 20, I was a 22 year old. So James White has some weird, like fetish for like, you know, college kids and stuff like that. He's got some, James White has some mental, mental problems too. It's, it's not just, it's not just, uh, Sam Shamoon. James White does have some, you know, mental health uh, his mental health problems. He has some weird, like homosexual obsessions with Bart Ehrman and Muslim college kids, because he only debates Muslim college kids. And he has some weird obsession or some creepy uh, homosexual obsession with Bart Ehrman. So uh, James White is a little messed up in the head too. But anyways, we're we're get, we're talking about Shamoon, not not James White. Uh, yeah, neither of them is completely right. Um, Sam Shamoon does not know how to behave, and, you know, I believe his story, that Shamoon's just screaming and jumping up and down and just going crazy in a public setting, and, you know, it's a, uh, it's not good to be seen in public with, with Shamoon, so I agree with Nader Ahmed that Sam Shamoon cannot uh, control himself in a public setting, whether it's a public setting, a debate, or just a... Uh, sit down at a place like a restaurant, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, uh, neither of them is, is correct on, on, on his assessment with uh, Sam Shimon. So I, I give, so I, I agree with neither of them. He, he's completely right. Avoid being seen with Sam Shimon in a public setting because he can't control himself and he can't control his emotions. And he's a little, like neither of them says, a little quacky in the head. Stay tuned. More videos coming up ahead.